right, so it's your first ever Mega Wars game. You've just joined the game. You don't know what's going on. First thing you want to do, click your sword. You have an option of three classes. Cow, Hunter, Shark. Cow is a tank. It can take a lot of damage without dealing much damage. Hunter is a range class. It has a strong bow. It can deal a lot of damage from afar. And Shark is a close quarter melee class that can deal a lot of damage close up. There are your three options. I recommend going Cow. It has a lot of health. You can live longest with Cow at level 1 in your first game of Mega Wars. Okay, that's all good, but you want to invite your, your friends to play, don't you? So, you're going to go into chat, you're going to type slash team, invite, and then the name of your friend. How do I spell his name? There you go, request sent. He has to go into his chat and click on the message to accept your team invite. Then you can play together in up to teams of four. Three, two, one. Okay, now the game has started, you get really confused, you're in a box, you can't get out, you're trapped, you're like, yo, why can't I go through there, I don't know, there's something in the way, and you look at yourself, and you're a cow, and you're like, wait, that's not my skin, why do I look like a cow, hang on, there's two cows, you get really confused, anyway, what you want to do at this point, is follow everyone, everyone is going to jump into this pit thing, they're called the mines, from here, you're going to mine iron, coal, and you're going to start smelting iron, after about three minutes of mining, Hang on a minute, where did this chest come from? Yeah, when you're mining, you're going to find chests. What you want to do is just get an axe out of the first chest you get. Don't forget the coal. <clears throat> okay, so I have two stacks of iron, which takes 16 coal to smelt, because every eight stack of iron takes one piece of coal and now I'm going to start heading up out of the mines there's normally a clear path or some ladders to get up out I'm going to climb the ladders try and parkour my way out there we go find a nice open space and get the furnaces I got these furnaces came from the chest you mined with your axe so you don't need to make your own place them down I'm going to split my coal into four stacks put it in a furnace along with 32 iron and begin to smelt the iron Cool. While that's going, we're going to get some blocks. Okay, and just with over a minute left, we now have smelted iron. But wait, there's no space in my inventory to place the iron. Well, this is what you have an ender chest for. You want to right-click the ender chest and put absolutely everything in there. And then we'll probably throw out some stuff like chests, TNT, torches, cookies. We don't actually need any of that stuff. Right, we put the blocks in, the food in, the milk buckets in, and the axe in. We're going to get the crafting table. And now with our two stacks of iron, we're going to make a few sets. Now, cow spawns with a chest plate, shark spawns with boots, and hunter spawns with helmet and boots. So, for cow, we need to make some leggings. I'll make three pairs. Some helmets. I'll make three pairs. And some boots. I'll make three pairs. Put a pair on, a set on now. Chuck the rest of the stuff in my ender chest along with the remaining iron. Now, whenever I die, I lose everything that's on me, but I keep everything in the ender chest. So, I'm only going out with one set of armor and the items I got with my kit. I'm going to run to the front wall, go over to the left, and we're going to go get some kills because we want coins. We want to upgrade our classes. Get shot, good luck. Oh, look at this guy. Let's kill him. Let's crit him out. Oh. There we go. We got coins. More people to kill. Now, if you look at the bottom, every time I hit someone, I'm going to get some energy. That's my XP bar. It goes up by 20 when playing cow. And when I get to 100, I right click my sword and I use my ability. With cow, that's move. It gives me regen and resistance. Really cool. Let's see if we can kill this guy here, get some more coins. He's gonna run away. We'll kill this guy then, that's fine. You're on four. There we go, we gotta kill. He dropped some stuff. I'm gonna open my ender chest, put that stuff in my ender chest, and uh oh, I died. Now I didn't quite get everything in my ender chest, and as you can see, I lost it, but I still have my kit items. What I wanna do now, open my ender chest, get one of these sets I made, put it on, and go get some more coins, go and kill more people. Now you have to be really careful at this point. You always want to leave one set in your ender chest because soon it's going to be deathmatch and deathmatch is really scary because you don't respawn anymore so we're going to leave this set 
and from now on we're going to craft new sets using the remaining iron. Now remember, to get as many coins as we can, we're going to want to kill people that look like us. We're going to kill these cows and these, these weird blue guys. We don't want to fight people who have loads of diamond stuff because they're hard to kill. And we don't want to, we don't want to fight people that are hard to kill because we want coins. We don't want to die at all. Oh no, I died. Well, I only have one set left, so we're going to use iron to craft some more. What's that on my screen? Your wither's under attack? What's a wither? Well, let me show you. Every base has a wither. The wither is what you have to protect. If you look at the right of the screen, every wither has health. And if that health drops to zero, it becomes deathmatch and you no longer respawn. So we want to stop these guys that aren't on our team. I'm on green team. Getting into our wither. Our wither is basically like our bed from Bed Wars. He dies, we no longer respawn. It's really simple. So we're going to protect him. And if we protect him, we get extra coins. We want coins. That's good. Let's protect him. Now because I'm standing near my wither, you can see in the top left in my effects, I get regen, I get resistance. That's good. They reward me for defending the wither. Until the timer on the left hits zero and rage off. When Enrage is off, I no longer get those effects, and it becomes a lot easier to go and attack Withers. Come on, timer. Okay, Withers no longer Enrage. That means I no longer get regen and resistance from standing at the Wither. At this point, there's going to be a lot more people rushing Withers. So we're going to try and defend as well as we can, so that our Wither is the last one to die. Oh no, Red's Wither dies! That means they no longer respawn, so if you can see in chat, everyone that is dying here is not going to respawn. They're out of the game. We only have seven players left. That is unfortunate. Now our wither's about to die, so we're going to go and chat. Type slash kill so we can get back to our base safely. Get our set of armor on. Now that we have some armor on, we're going to go down into the mines. And down here will be nice and safe from anyone trying to kill us. Now that our wither's dead, we no longer respawn. When I'm slightly down into the mines, no one's going to get to me, so I'm going to quickly sort my inventory out. Now, it's going to be deathmatch in a second, so we need all our food, all our blocks, our axe, and you're going to want to sort your inventory out to look something like mine. We definitely want blocks, and we definitely want food. In deathmatch, you keep getting hunger. This hunger gets worse and worse as it goes on, so we need a lot of food. Right, now that we know it's safe to come up because it's deathmatch, we're going to come up and we're just going to try and stick with our team, follow them around everywhere they go, and kill anyone that they want to kill. This part of the map is middle because we've crossed over the bedrock barrier and here we no longer get hunger. So let's eat up and I'm going to go try to find people. Here is one. Can I get a hit? Coins! No, I didn't get a hit on that guy. As cow, if my team get low I can drink some milk and it will give them all regen. Coins! I could not see that guy. Well, we got coins from him. He died. We get the same amount of coins from an assist as we do from a kill. Oh, what a snipe! Let's go! 59 blocks! We're a god. It. Keep eating. Keep eating. If you ever get to the point where you can't keep eating, just scream at your team in chat and they'll probably give you some food. Or they'll just leave me to starve. There we go. But don't forget to be nice. If you get a bit lost, you can use the compass to track down people. You right click it or left click it to change what team it's on. So if I want to find blue because they're the biggest team, I just scroll through until it's on blue and then it points in the direction of the closest blue. Let's try and cut this guy off so we can get some coins. He's coming my way. I missed him. Don't forget to use your ability by right clicking. Coins. Coins. No. Coins. I'm stuck. I may need to eat. Uh. 
Hello? Don't forget to shout GG! And there you go, just like that, you have won your first ever game of Megals.